Rampant Design do a great deal of matte transitions, all kinds of transitions which you can buy from their shop and you can download all the different types. As I've mentioned in previous tutorials, if you go to the bottom you can download free versions. And these can be used in any kind of software and I'm just going to show you this time how to use it in DaVinci Resolve. So if you've downloaded the free transitions to try, you can obviously use paid for transitions to actually do the same thing. But here is DaVinci Resolve and the project's ever so simple. So in my media page, I've got some art beats footage. So a couple of pieces of footage and I have created a timeline. And what I want to do is I want to use one of the rampant design, the matte transition video to actually create the matte over the top. Now what you could do or you would think you would do is actually go and find those matte transitions. So let's just find rampant design. Uh, let's look at all the ones here. Lots and lots of free ones. So matte transitions. So we could, you'd have thought, take one. Here's one. I'll just show you very quickly. You'd have thought that perhaps you would just bring it in like this and then go to your edit page and then bring it over the top onto a, a different timeline and find some way of, of making the two go over each other. But you're going to find that that isn't going to work. You're not going to be able to do it that way. So there's a slightly different workflow because if I actually play that through, you see I've just got the white and the transition and it stays white. So that's not going to work. So I'm going to delete it. I'm actually going to delete it from my media pool as well. And I'm going to go back here to my media page. And I've got that same transition here, which is this one here. But what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to right click on it. And when you right click on it, you'll see that you've actually got the option to add to the media pool as a mat. And that's the key here. So you actually choose the item that you want and you add it as a mat. So there it is added in. And then you can go to your edit page, but we're not going to do it in the edit page. We're actually going to go straight over to the color page. And then we're going to choose the item that we want the transition to take place on. So it's actually the second clip here. And then when we select it, we've got its first node. And if you right click on the node, you'll see at the bottom, you can add mat. Now it wants to be able to add the other clip, which we don't want to do, but we've got the track mats. And so we can go and choose the one that we've already added into our media pool. And of course I could have added any number into my media pool and then I'd be able to choose between them. But when I click that, it actually adds it in. However, I've not finished yet. I actually need to have an alpha output for this particular workflow. So if you right click in the space here, and you go down to add alpha output, it gives you an alpha output here. If I pull slightly through here, you'll see nothing's happening. But if I take the little circle at the bottom, and I take that to the alpha output, all of a sudden, you'll find that the situation is that it actually works. And it has actually worked as a proper track mat in exactly the way that we wanted it to work. So just very briefly to go over that again, when you're in your media pool, what you need to do is choose the ones that you want to bring in as mats. So let's choose another one. Let's look at this second one here. If we pull through, you can see that that's gonna block in from the side. All you need to do, the key is right click and add to media pool as a mat. Now it's added in as a mat, so that when I go not to my edit page, but to my color page, and I choose this item, and now if I was to right click on here, I can select mat, and you'll see that I've actually got the two. So I can choose the other one, and now the other one goes on. So what you need to do is make sure that you can click on the one that's got the mat, and you can select the mat between the ones that you've done. I'll do one more just to show you. So let's choose this one here. Let's add it to the media pool as a mat. Go back to my color page. I've already created the mat, which was done by right click on this one, and I've gone down to add a mat and chosen the original mat. But now that it's actually in there and I want to try another one, it's simply right click, select mat, and I can choose the third one. And I can actually go between the various mats and see which ones are going to work. And they will work as a mat when you've set it up like this. So it's right click on the original node, add mat, and then you select your mat. And then it comes in with a node here, but you need to right click over here and add an alpha output, which gives you this second little item over here. Then you take the circle, the color it bit out directly to there, and then it's gonna work perfectly with your rampant design matte transition tools. I hope you found this tutorial useful. My name's Andrew Davis, and thank you very much for watching.